Let's talk about French grammar today, and in particular, gender. Hmm, what does this even mean? Fortunately or unfortunately, gender is a thing you have to think about when you're learning French. In French, all nouns have a gender, and that gender will either be masculine or feminine. The reason why we have gender in some languages and not in others is kind of unknown and a little bit debated, and we're not going to go into that today. All we need to know is that this exists, and we need to be familiar with it. Gender in French may be part of a noun and its makeup, but it also affects other words such as adjectives or articles when they're linked to that noun. We'll talk more about this later, but first, how can you tell if a noun is masculine or feminine? Well, you can't really, but there's a few useful tricks that will help you get it right most of the time. The biggest clue is that most Feminine nouns end in E. That's right, E. Think E, feminine. Even though masculine ends in an E as well, think about all those E's in that word feminine and that will help you to remember. This could be in the shape of an ap, an an, or an ouche, or plenty of other endings at the end of a feminine noun, but the one thing they all have in common is that E on the end. One more key ending to remember here that nine times out of 10 makes a noun feminine is this, ion, I-O-N. So that's E and ion for feminine noun endings. And that will help you to identify whether a noun is masculine or feminine. Now granted, those two rules alone won't help you get it right 100% of the time. Heck, even now, I still have to think about certain nouns and their gender, but this will get you started on the right track in a really solid way. So that means nine times out of 10, all other nouns with different endings are masculine. I'm having a little mental tally right now to see how many times I'm gonna say nine times out of 10 in this video. That said, there are a couple of exceptions here. The endings age, ej, isme, and e, that's e with an acute accent, are normally masculine, despite ending in e, because this is language and language loves exceptions. But hang on a minute, if by this point you're thinking, nah, it sounds complicated, I'm not gonna bother learning about gender in French, well, you might want to reconsider because there is a reason why this stuff is useful. Remember earlier when I mentioned other words, adjectives and articles that get changed slightly due to the gender of a noun? Yep, that. That's why this is important. For example, le garage means the garage in French. Now, remember it ends in an E, but it also ends in age, and that is a masculine noun ending nine times out of 10. If I were to say la garage, Technically, that would be incorrect French. Spoiler alert, you will not be hung, drawn and quartered on the streets of Paris if you get this stuff wrong. No one is really going to care if you say la garage instead of le garage. And if they do, they're probably not the right people to talk with at these early stages of learning French. You need positive reinforcement right now. Moving on, what about adjectives? Le garage blanc. First thing you've probably noticed here is that the new word has gone at the end of the noun, after the noun. That's because that's where adjectives normally go in French, but that's a video for another day. Le garage blanc means the white garage. But if I was to use a feminine noun, such as maison, which means house, and I was to say, for example, la maison blanc, like this spelling, that would be incorrect because maison, as you can tell from that first word, that article, la means maison is a feminine noun, okay? So the adjective is going to be different too. So we would get la maison blanche, the white house. No, no, not that white house, that white house over there. And that white house over there is a maison, and maison is a feminine noun, which means that blanc becomes blanche. But remember, if you say la maison blanc, you will not be officially banned from speaking French, and no animals or unicorns will die in a terrible way. But it's good to get a handle on this stuff early on, so you're aware when things get bigger and more complex as you go on learning French. Let's summarize. 
In this video, we've taken a quick look at gender in French, how every noun in French is either masculine or feminine, and a basic look at how this affects other words around that noun. If you have any other questions about gender in French or anything else to do with French grammar, let me know in the comments below. And what other French grammar things would you like to see me explain next? Again, let me know in the comments below or get in touch over at lindsaydoeslanguages.com. If you're ready to put things into practice, head over to the link in the description to download your free worksheet and learn more about the basics of French grammar. Thanks for watching, merci. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for regular language learning videos. I'll see you very soon. Bye, au revoir.